asking me why the Trinity exists is like asking me why the moon exists. It just does. But the Trinity, the Trinity as we know it, is deduced from some of the implicit statements of Jesus. But there is only one explicit statement, really plainly explicit, that talks about Trinity. And it's in 1 John 5 verse 7. Where it said, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These three are one. And there are three that bear record on earth, the water, the blood, and the Spirit. These three agree as one. This is the compendium for the understanding that everything that Jesus said was about this. Unfortunately, biblical scholars themselves have proved that this was never a part of the original writings of the Bible. This did not come into the existence until the Latin Vulgate. So biblical scholars in the 50s, when they made something called the NSRV, which is no longer in print, the New Standard Revised Version of the Bible, this is one of the verses that they tossed out. Along with the story of Jesus forgiving the adulteress and some other things, they tossed it out. And these are biblical scholars, a college of biblical scholars of repute, said that 1 John 5 and 7 was never a part of the original documents. It only comes in the Latin Vulgate, so it is flicked out. But Jesus taught God was one. 